Hello friends. Welcome back to Susie's Unique Designs. Today I'm going to be making a stacked bow using the Easy Bow Maker. I'm going to be using six different ribbons and I'm going to be using two of the two and a half, three of the one and a half, and one of the seven eighths. So let's get started. Okay, we're going to be making 12 inch tails. So we're just going to take our fingers here. We're going to just pinch and pleat this. So we have a little tiny gathering in the middle like that. And then we're going to take and we're going to twist. I like to twist away from myself and put it in the center pegs. And we'll just pull our tail down to the front. Then it's easier if you pull some length of ribbon out so it'll move around a little easier. We're going to start with a six inch tail. Actually, let's go with a seven inch tail. We'll go with a seven inch. And we're just going to pinch again and then twist away, put it into the center pegs. The twisting is really important because you're going to have the pretty side laying down. And then you just use your hand if you want. Go to the seven mark. Bring it over to the middle like this. And then just pinch, pleat. There we go. And this time you don't need to twist because we're pulling this tail down and we'll trim them off to the, to the same length. Okay. Next, we're going to be using this beautiful sunflower ribbon. And this is called a directional ribbon. So with this ribbon, I'm going to do one strip where we have some coming up on the top. Let's see. Let's go about, about eight inches. We're just going to pleat this. Put it right into the center there. And then we'll bring it down and cut it the same approximately the same length as the one below. Okay. And then with this, what we're going to do is we're going to take just a little bit like this, about an inch. So you have a little bit and we're going to put it right into the pegs, like say, like this. And then we're going to twist this and lay it down. We'll cut some of this off. You just need just about an inch so that it doesn't fall through when we're pulling on our loops at the end. This one, we're going to go about a half an inch. So about six and a half inch loops. And we're just going to pinch and pleat like this. And then we're going to twist okay again about six and a half so that your back ribbon can show just pinch and pleat like this little tiny okay and it's okay that this is going on this side. We can move our tails at the end how we want them. Okay. 
then next we're going to be using this pretty yellow ribbon like the sunflowers this is one and a half inch ribbon With this one, we'll just measure with the same, approximately the same as we did the other ones like that. Pinch and pleat. This one, we're going to come in about a half an inch. So we'll come into about five. Then we'll twist, lay it down in the center pegs. So you can see all of our ribbons so far. Next, we're going to be using a pretty green and white ribbon, which is also a one and a half inch ribbon. This pretty green and white. This is very pretty. Okay. Again, we're just going to measure approximately using our other tails. Twist, laid into the center pegs like this. We're going to come in again about a half an inch. Pinch, twist. Lay it into the center pegs. Okay, just like this, you can see all of our pretty ribbons. We're going to be using this pretty brown and tan colored ribbon. Again, we're just pinching to make teeny tiny pleats. Put it in the center here. We're going to come in about a half an inch again. Twist. There we go. And just come in a half an inch approximately. Put it into the center. Now I'm using all wired ribbon, which is very important. Trim it off. And then finally, we're gonna use this pretty green ribbon again to top it off. This is seven eighths inch ribbon. In 
then this one here, we are going to come in about a half an inch, and then we're also gonna do a center loop on this one here. So we'll just come in, actually, I think I'm gonna change my mind on this. I think what we're gonna do on this is we will just do a center loop. So we're gonna come in and we're just gonna put it about maybe two to three inches. And we don't have to twist, we're just gonna, cause we're just doing the one loop like this. And then just trim it off. Okay. Now we're gonna take two pipe cleaners and we're gonna twist them around to make one long pipe cleaner. Just so that when we put this on, we will have a longer, um, something longer to attach to our project because we don't know if it's gonna be a mailbox or if it will go on a wreath or on a present or we're not sure what we're exactly doing. So we wanna make sure we have a long enough piece in the back. Then I'm going to be using a zip tie. You can use a Chanel stem or pipe cleaner if you prefer, but I like to do a zip tie. So I'm just going to make sure that the buckle part is facing down. Gently lift my ribbons and then just secure your bow. And I'm not gonna tighten it all the way up yet. We're gonna pull this off, but we're gonna take our fingers and we're gonna hold it so it doesn't come apart lift it off of the bow maker, and then we have a pretty stack. And we're just gonna move this over just a little bit, pull it to the back. Now keep holding on to this. I'm just gonna push on the zip tie now, like this. Put my Chanel stem in the back, make it a little bit tighter so it doesn't fall apart. Okay. Now we're gonna move our bow maker out of the way. And just pull your tails to the front how you would like them. Just move them around. Move our center bow like this and then you won't see the zip tie anymore. And then I just like to Take my loops and make them opposite of each other. This one we just move like this. This one goes down. Okay, and this one comes down a little bit. This one will go up like this. And we'll trim this one off a little shorter. Okay. And so when you, it's better so you don't want to tighten it all the way up. Otherwise it's harder to move your loops around. Okay. So when we get our loops where we want them, then we just turn this over like this, push it down and tighten up your zip tie. And then take your wire cutters and trim off your zip tie. Okay. Then you have your long Chanel stems to attach it to whatever you would like. Okay, so now what we do is we're going to trim this because it is a little bit longer than than what I like. Okay.
And you just fluff your, fluff your loops out using your fingers to round out your loops. Fluff them up. You don't want a flat bow. Just use your fingers. Just move your, move them around. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to dovetail our tails. So you fold it in half, kind of like a taco, and then you cut at an angle upwards. And you can cut these all different lengths, whatever you would like. And then you get a pretty dovetail. Just make sure you go through each one of your tails. Now, I'll show you on this one. Now, I'm kind of doing it upside down, but if you have it like this, you fold it like a taco, like this, and then you just cut at an angle. Or if you prefer, you can just cut your tails just at an angle if you want as well. I prefer the dovetail, but you can do however you would like. And see, then you get a pretty dovetail. And if you're doing it down, then you're gonna go up like this. So you just have to remember that part of it. Just go through each one of them. Okay. So then, with these little ones right here, what I usually do is I just cut them at an angle. And then I like to curl my loops, I mean, my tails. So then what I do is I just take my fingers and I just roll it up and then pull the little end out like that and just roll it up and there you go you have a pretty stacked bow and as you sometimes when you put it on a project or maybe a mailbox or this could go on a lantern as well I'll take some pictures and post them on on my page but isn't that pretty? And with the wired ribbon, you can use your fingers and just kind of roll your fingers on them. And it just curls your, your tails. Like I said, sometimes when you do it on a project, it's a little bit easier to, to curl your tails. Whoops. There we go. And you can even curl these if you wanted. If you wanted just to curl these as well. I like the curls. I think they add a little, little bit of whimsy to it. Just a little extra touch, but whatever you want. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, you can move your tails wherever you want them to go. Oops. There we go. It's a little bit, it's a little bit wild. Okay, there we go. And if you don't have the directional ribbon, you don't necessarily have to put this up here. I just did this to add a little extra touch because the sunflower ribbon is so pretty. There we go. I hope you enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe. I'll be back for another tutorial soon.